In this video we're going to show you how to connect a phone line using a phone jack or using an RJ45 jack. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com Here are the tools you're going to need to complete this task. First we have a small wire stripper. I have a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now I have a professional punch down tool and then I have a do-it-yourselfer punch-down tool. You only need one or the other, you do not need both. Sometimes these will come from the uh, big box retailer when you purchase these and it just slips down like that. Okay, one thing you're gonna need to do right away is make a decision on what type of telephone jack you actually want to install. There are two choices that I'm showing you here. Now this is a straight up telephone jack. Okay, It has terminals on the back and its only purpose is to provide dial tone for a telephone inside the building. Now it mounts to a single gang electrical back box and it has a Decora trim ring. You have to purchase this trim ring separate and when it's finished it looks like that. The other type of jack that you can use, this is an RJ45. Now, it's not the most appropriate jack for a telephone outlet, but it does work. Because both jacks have copper pins on the inside. And it's the pair of pins that are in the center that carry the dial tone. Okay, so it's pins four and five. So if you flip this jack over, the RJ45, it's color coded and you just punch down the blue pair for phone lines. Now to finish this jack out, it's called an insert and it snaps into something like this and you simply make sure the arrow is pointed up and then you put the jack in and it's flush to the face of this when it's complete. I'm not going to snap it in on this video because Sometimes they're tricky to remove once they're snapped in place. But I'm using this particular Decora as an example because you could put a cable TV outlet here or you could put a second phone jack here or you could put some other type of structured wire insert in here. And then again, to finish this one off, this plate goes right over like that. Now, another way is you can just get a plate that has the insert hole in it, you flip it over, make sure the arrow is up and then you snap that in place like that and again I'm not snapping it in place because it's difficult to remove but you can see that's a way of creating a phone jack as well. Alright let's begin. I've got my Cat5 wire here. This is actually Cat5e. There's no real difference between Cat5 and Cat5e other than there are more twists per foot or meter. So I'm just going to strip back a little bit of this blue jacket here. Just kind of go all the way around. And I pull that out like that. And then you see that I have four pairs of wire and then I have this little rip cord. I like to cut that out because it tends to get in the way. So because we're only demonstrating how to do a phone jack, we're not going to use these other three pair in this particular video, so I'm just going to set those to the side. Now, you'll notice that the wire's twisted, and that is to help prevent noise from outside electrical interference crossing onto the wire. So you want to try to keep the wire twisted like that, um, and fortunately, the way I cut it, I have enough to do the, the punch down. So now I'm going to take my insert, and I'm just going to follow the color coding here and I'm going to lay my wire right inside the slots. Blue goes to the blue label and blue-white goes to the blue-white label. And I'm going to gently put those in their seat and I'm going to take my punch down tool which if you look at the blade, the tip here, one side of the tip is shorter than the other. So you want the long side 
to be pointed away from the insert. So I'm going to put that right in here. Now when you're doing this, you need to do this on a sturdy surface, otherwise you risk jamming your finger, and that's extremely painful. Now listen for the click. That was successful. Gently pull it out. And now we're going to do the blue-white wire. Again, listen for the click. And there we go. And that is all that is necessary to install a phone jack. Again, I'm using the blue-blue-white pair. I'm putting them on the blue-blue-white labeled connectors. And that will make the center copper pins live for a dial tone. When you're connecting a phone jack like this one, simply follow the manufacturer's instructions that are included with the part in order to tie your blue, blue, white wire down to the correct pair of terminals on the back here. Now you'll notice that this particular phone jack has a total of four terminals. So that tells me this phone jack will support a two-line telephone. One pair of pins is for dial tone number one. The second pair of pins is for dial tone number two. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.